Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, we are here today with an exciting game. Hello, I'm Graymus from the Clan Collective. If my computer would stop lagging, that would be terrific. We are here with a game on Blistering Sands. 1v1 between a lot of iguana. This is actually this is actually the game of sort of names that are not the way you want them to be. A lot of iguana is the member of Team Collective in this cast. He wanted it to be a lot of iguanas, but unfortunately you can only have 12 characters. So he couldn't add that last S, and now he's a lot of Iguana, or Iggy, as we like to call him. And he actually knows none of us have any idea why that started, but it did. And over here, we actually have uh, Think You're Lucky. Now, this name is actually formed in the phrase of a question. Uh, and, of course, you cannot have uh, punctuation marks in your name. So uh, it comes off as a question without punctuation, so it's just Think You're Lucky. It's like, well, yes, yes, I do think I'm lucky very very astounding observation there. Um, anyway, we do have him spawning as the red Protoss up here in the top right. Iguana is a random player, so we actually random um, the blue Zerg, the bottom left of Blistering Sands. Of course, things to note about Blistering Sands, looks like this is actually a relatively early scout from... Actually, no, take that back, I'm a liar. It's not an early, early scout at all. They're going to chest bump in the middle. Boom, there's a chest bump. Of course, good things to note about Blistering Sands. Generally, Zergs do favor this map quite a bit because they can make... Uh, they can expand behind um, being pretty aggressive, bouncing back and forth with their very fast units um, between these two places, the rocks and this entrance, putting a lot of pressure on the Protoss or Terran early on in the game um, to be just as, as annoying as possible. Looks like Iguana is going to go for a 14 pool build. Uh, I'm going to get that uh, speed first, I would imagine. Yes, there's the extraction going down on our production tab, the happy friend. Um, looks like he is going to start uh, blocking the cybernetics core. Um, that is so weird. Just hanging out. Looking awesome. Alright, looks like the probe is going to go straight on to the mineral line. Um, to proxy, I imagine. Let's see. Um, nope, he's going to go to this nice little out... Wow, that's a pretty neat little outlook. Check that out. Over the dead battle cruiser. I'm distract distracted because I got done casting the game recently. Alright, here we go. Double gateway build from Think You're Lucky. Um, this is going to be a very, very aggressive build. Not going to be able to get a cyber core pretty quickly with this. So he's going to be going for very, very heavy zealots early on. However, luckily for Iguana, he did get his pool first, which will enable him to get those spine crawlers, get those queens, and get those zerglings like he needs. Unfortunately, he's actually, um, I think, out of larva. No, he's got one. So he won't be able to deal with that. Uh, gas going up just a little bit right there. Um, I think after scouting a pool first build, this two gateway option probably isn't the best thing. Throw down a forge as well, um, cause why not? Uh, could use some upgrades. Nice. I swear, if this forge goes down and like no cannons are produced like here to defend an expansion or upgrade, I'm gonna scream. We just see a very very quick roach worm by iguana. Gonna um, this is actually a very nice play. I do believe, of course, we do have a proxy um, being canceled over there. That's that'd be silly. Um, oh my gosh, does he actually not see this? No, he does not actually see that proxy, so this will come as a complete shock to him. Um, actually, is he going to cannon rush this expansion? Oh gosh, this is going to be full of wonderful cheese. Oh man, two gateway cannon rush with, I don't know what he's going to do over here, he's going to put a pile on. All right. Unfortunately, with these roaches going down and the clear lack of an expansion here um, to attack with cannons, this actual build makes no sense. But whatever, he's done it on the ladder, so why not? And it looks like these, um, actually, he should see that probe coming from a very sus uh, suspicious area. Be a little bit wary. It looks like these Zerglings will go out to attack the Zanaga Watchtower. I'm being, like, really sarcastic this cast and realized, wow, didn't know that. Alrighty. Two cannons will finish to attack nothing as the uh, two Zealots. Wow, really? Only two z How much money does he have? Oh, he actually has enough money. He's 42, what? How many pilots does this guy have? Where are they? Oh, there's actually, like, everywhere. Alright, cool. Oh, he's just, like... Alright, cool, he's got two zealots. Anyway, I'm um, gonna be having those two zealots while three roaches and two zerglings come out on the field. Looks like he's gonna put down two pylons at his front to get even more unsupply blocked. Let's see what um, players are gonna do. Iguana probably should expand quite soon. He's got a lot of roaches. Um, still making drones. Very good job. Need to find places to make drones. He's gonna be quite surprised when he tries to expand right here, and it just dies. Uh, so probably gonna want to take. Actually, it's actually so hard to take bases on blistering sands. That actually really sucks. Um, unfortunately, when you force your opponent to pretty much go crazy aggression, you need to have more than just like four zealots. 
which are going to run into like this greater number of units. Oh, this is going to be fun to watch. Plus the fact that there are no cannons. Oh man, this is wonderful to watch. Even though I play Protoss, I love to see Zergs kill them. I love to see builds executed mindlessly. Anyway, we're going to stop making fun of these players because um, I quite I like Iggy a lot. He's actually not doing anything wrong. Could be expanding because it does have uh, 500 minerals, but it's not a problem. Also, no cannons actually for defense. Simply built offensive cannons for no purpose. Very nice. Going to be doing some kick-ass micro. Yeah. Now, um, I think your lucky will be fine. He is going to get these cannons up. Um, unfortunately, he is stuck only making zealots, which can be uh, microed against infinitely with these roaches. And it looks like now he's just going to go ahead and kill that cannon. Um, probably would like to see him retreat with these roaches. These three roaches can be incredibly helpful later on. Uh, need to see him continue to, of course, make um, drones. I would like. I, I really think an expansion needs to go down right now. Guan also needs to try to push these rocks over here. Very, very, very undefended by our Protoss player. And here comes the roaches. Looks like he doesn't know about this, so it's a very good play. Going to go ahead and take this out behind expanding. Very, very, uh, very nice. Um, he does need to get that expansion up as quickly as possible. It was tremendously delayed by this aggression, as well as those cannons they didn't know about. So. I think you're lucky, lucky. Actually, I do like that cannon placement. Unfortunately, there was actually no expansion. That's actually three... Five, how much is that? It's 400 minerals, um, sort of just down the line doing nothing. Maybe killed two roaches. We're going to have six zealots. Yeah, six zealots pushing out across the map right now. Going to be attacking the uh, zerg player, who unfortunately does have enough roaches to take care of just about anything going on. Unfortunately, he will actually be expanding right now, so this is, he's hitting quite a nice timing, unfortunately, with the wrong units. We'll be pushing out along here. Oh my gosh, Warpgate was just started? Whoa, not even spinning his... Actually, no, he has a, doesn't have any Chrome Boost. He's actually spinning that quite well. Very good. Very, very good job. Looks like these Zealots will charge valiantly into this line of Roaches, which um, do quite well against Zealots. Continuously rallying, realizing that that's not going to work at all. Pull him back as Iguana will um, continue to build his hatchery right here. Um, not as though he could stop building that hatchery, but you know what I mean. I'm so distracted right now. Holy crap. Oh, Okay, drinking water. Alright, and spilling water all over my keyboard. Cool. I'm on a laptop, so it actually doesn't matter that much. Anyway, hitting the wrong keys to move around the screen. I'm just on top of it today. Looks like we do see our Protoss player doing the most crazy of all all-ins, going 5 Warp Gate Forge, not even done with Warp Gate yet. 2 gas, no expansion, mass zealot. That's the way the pros play. Fortunately, these uh, roaches will laugh at this cannon and kill this um, rock here. It looks like uh, Overlord Speed going down. I do quite like Overlord Speed. Overlord Speed is a terrific upgrade. A lot of people will just turn Overlords into Overseers to scout, but like, why not just have your Overlords always able to do that? Uh, makes perfect sense. So it doesn't even matter that Iguana really won't be able to push up here if this guy can get down great force fields. So the fact that these rocks are dead will um, force our Protoss player to make a lot of um, more defenses here than he normally would. And we should see um, Iguana pull back perfect right there. More and more zealots on the field. Um, deciding only to have one warp gate. Uh, one more warp gate's good when you want that kind of diversity in your unit production speed. Um, don't want to make our units too quickly now. So the hatchery is done, and we should see some transfer of drones going down. Um, looks like we do have something planning to do something here. What is he going to do? Probably Hydralist in. Yeah, ha! Huh, called it. I'm awesome. Yeah. A lot of zealots um, sitting in the back of the base in case of any sort of Nidus Swarm in the middle. Very nice. That was sarcastic, by the way, in case you missed that. Probably could use some more drones being transferred. Um, looks like he's a little bit focused on this micro going on up here. I just sent about 75% completed. Continuing to make units, of course, he actually is like the safest player in the world at the moment because he has uh, so many uh, so many things. What did he see? Has he seen all these warp gates, I wonder? No, he actually has only seen these two at the front. So actually, um, what Iguana should be doing right now is really, really macroing up with these drones. Um, because he broke down these rocks, it forces the Protoss player to be uh, passive, and as I say that, he actually pushes out. Um, but you're supposed to be pa get back, move, move, right, whatever. So this is going to be the craziest counterattack of all freaking time, as he just pushes in here, and there's two cannons, a stalker, and horridly um, mispositioned zealots. And there's the beautiful surround, and here comes the zerg, and he's running in, 